Yo, what's up, dudes? So I thought we would follow up about the Jackson uh, SL3X, part of the X series that I recently purchased from Guitar Center Used. Uh, I thought we could go over it. A lot of, a lot of feedback on that one. Um, I still have the guitar. It's right there. And, uh, I, but I think I've made my mind up on it and we will, we'll get to that by the end of this video. So I find a good place to start is at the beginning. So let's just go back to the beginning and, uh, we'll go through it. And to do that, I've set up, that's why I'm using the, the webcam because, uh, it, it's much easier for me to share screenshots like this. So it all started where I went into the my local guitar center, and this guitar was on the wall. It is a Jackson SL3X, but this one has the um, uh, satin finish, which I'm not crazy about. I'd rather have the, the gloss finish, but I really like the neck on it. And the fin fingerboard was a little light. Um, it, it's definitely a laurel fingerboard on this one, and this is one of the newer models. But it got me thinking, you know, I wonder if there are any, you know, the uh, SL3Xs up on Guitar Center used nationwide. So maybe I'll do a search when I get home. And I did. And it yielded. At first I did a look up and I saw what they were going for new, $7.99. I was like, okay. And you can see how light that fretboard is. And they're, they're out of stock, more on order, right? You can't even buy one. So I said, okay. Let me look, and I find this. This is the listing. I always screenshot my listings. I recommend you do it as well, because then if there's a problem later on, you can pull your phone out and say, uh, I don't think so. I, I, I think this is what it said. <laughs> and then, right. But if you'll notice, even in this photo, conveniently, the top of the headstock has been cut off. More on that in a little bit. But I looked at this, and the first thing I noticed was how dark the fretboard was. I was like, I like the look of that, you know, good looking, good looking uh, guitar right there. And, uh, you know, that a picture of the back again, conveniently cutting the top of the headstock off. There's the front. You can see how dark the fretboard looks. Again, for comparison, that's the guitar. And I have it right, right there. Uh, sorry here. So uh, again, you can just sort of see how it looks uh, compared to, um, right, that's the photo, that's the guitar. And uh, again, another shot of the guitar, headstock conveniently cut off. And so I said to myself, let me, let me look up other guitars because I'm seeing this guitar here right I've got all these photos but maybe you know d does it have a dark rosewood fretboard like that or am I crazy and what I like to do is I look like to look for other photos alternate photos you do a Google search and you try to find it and I did and I came up with this this was a listing that had sold on reverb but just using it for the sake of research, I said, well, there's the same color, the same model, and a very dark fretboard. Again, I'm looking at this guy's guitar, and he's got a dark background. Right? This isn't over some white sheet making that fretboard look super dark. So I'm looking at this. And then I'm looking at this. And I'm sort of saying, you know, it might not be quite as dark as that other one. But it's pretty dark, right? That's the listing. That's the Guitar Center listing. That's a reverb selling, so the one that's sold. So I was like, you know what? You know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll take a chance. You know, and I'll just order one. Again, that's the reverb listing. And that's what I got. I was like, huh. 
It looks a little light. <laughs> is it me? Is it just me? Or is it looking a little lighter? So again, I'm looking at, again, not my guitar, this one, but this one, this was the listing. And somehow I just feel like maybe this wasn't the guitar. Because maybe if they show the tip, there wouldn't be a chip there. Because the guitar they sent, you know, they just had a stock photo. But it was it, it's hard to actually look up the serial number. Right? It, it's too far away. I can't really see the numbers. And they don't have a close-up of the back of the headstock. So I don't know. Maybe it is, and it's just that this white background is darkening up the front. But again, that versus this. That's why I had a look on my face like you what? <laughs> oh that that box that unboxing was real. <laughs> Without a doubt. But the the thing forgetting about the color of the fretboard, I could maybe even dye that or whatever. It was this. It was the chip. It was the chip in the headstock. And someone was like, did you cut it off with a razor blade? And I'm like, uh, it's not, it's not made out of cheese, dude. <laughs> you're not, you're not cutting that off with a razor blade. Oh, did I, did I cut it and didn't even notice it? It does, doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. Uh, and besides like the Zabruder film, I broke down the unboxing. You can see the chip right there. Well underneath the, uh, you know, the uh, plastic, and you can see it again there. Again, under the plastic. Uh, so, you know, clearly it came with it. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a bummer. It's just a bummer that uh, it, it was clearly, again, if you look at the listing, there's one listing photo two listing photos, three listing photos, right? They just, they don't have it, you know, to see in any of the photos. So that was really the dilemma. And so I would say that the, um, the comments about it really came down into three camps, two main camps. One, keep it, especially if you, you, know, you, you like the way it plays and it feels, keep it, but get some money off. Very few people were saying just whatever, just deal with it. You know, it is what it is. Almost nobody was saying that, right? Most people who were in the keep it camp, it was like keep it with an asterisk that said, if you can call them and get some money off, if you can somehow get a little bit better a deal on the on the guitar and I'd say the other half were just return it that you're never going to be happy with it uh, it's forever blemmed and it's just going to make you feel like they tried to pull one over on you which I, I got to admit it it is kind of feeling that way a little bit uh, with the with you know with those photos so again here's a Here's a shot of the guitar. Uh, it does play great. It does sound good. But I have a lot of guitars that play great and sound good. <laughs> right? And don't need. Including guitars with Floyd Roses. You know, I have a Kramer SM1 that is almost identical to that guitar. Um, and I have, you know, that Jackson there, which has a Floyd Rose, even though it's a bolt on. Again, I just wanted to, to, to try out the nicer neck through. So I've done a little bit more research on it. It looks like they were using rosewood, not necessarily dark rosewood. That could be rosewood and just a light rosewood. I don't really know. Uh, it looks like rosewood to me, but a lighter version, or it could be laurel. They could have just done a mid but the last time I looked at, and I started, you can look up the catalogs. And the catalog, that's a 2017, and the catalog through 2018, 2016, 2017, and 2018, all say Rosewood. So, um, it, it seems like 
Uh, that's probably just a light colored rosewood. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, it's pretty light. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I have decided I'm going to return it. I might bring it. I could bring it back. Well, it's already three in the afternoon. I probably won't bring it back until tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful day. Nice day for a drive. I don't have to pack it up. I don't have to ship it back. I can just drive it over to my local guitar center and, uh, and make a return and, and they'll process it. And when I tell them about the chip, they'll actually, they've been pretty good. I have to say they'll give me my shipping back. If they don't, uh, we'll get into it. I'll, I'll, I'll make a video about it, but um, they're, they're pretty good. If I say, listen, it wasn't as described. The other thing is, is they have it listed as great condition. And when you look up their description, right, they give you, they tell you, well, what does great mean? It means slight surface scratches, some signs of wear, but otherwise in like near new condition, basically, like really good condition. That's not that. I'm calling that good, maybe even fair. I'd say good at best. It might have a large chunk taken out of it somewhere. <laughs> Again, all they had to do was put it in the photos and I wouldn't have made the purchase. Because I don't want to deal with, uh, you know, a big chunk out of the headstock. And, um, again, I like the concept of the Jackson SL3X. The guitar, I, I can just tell you, I've been playing it for a couple of days. Those Duncan design pickups sound great. The Floyd Rose works great. Yeah, um, the the neck profile is, is, I love it. It's a really wonderful neck profile. Okay, pretty much like these other neck profiles, but... Those get a little bit more chunky down near the heel where this one can stay kind of slim because it's a neck through, right? So there's a little, I don't have to like have a, a joining portion where the two, where the, the body and the, the neck come together. And that just makes it more ergonomic. It really is. It does feel a little smaller in the, in the upper registers. It's a, it's a great playing and sounding guitar. I just, this particular transaction it's it's, uh, it's not working out for me, you know. Uh, they also made it in a, um, like a hot pink, I want to say like a taxi cab yellow. And uh, maybe a green or a blue. They've had a few colors out there. Uh, so let me see what I can find. You know, do I get rid of the, the nice looking you know, sort of champagne white, you know, this color, this color here, uh, in exchange for a, you know, a, to, to try and find one that's in hot pink. I mean, it would be more 80s, that's for sure. I, I don't know. I, I, quite frankly, we, the other thing you have to realize is that white colors don't look good on camera. They, they're too hot. They're way too bright, right? There's a reason it was TV yellow. It's because it was too hot there, hot shot. So, um, so just from, oh, I guess the pink wouldn't be much better, would it? That's going to be just as crazy. Though you wonder if the pink is fluorescent, like the RG550 is, right? You put a black light on that, on that, on this wall over here. All the guitars look dark except for that RG550, which is lit up like a friggin' light bulb. It looks, it looks unbelievable. So you wonder if they're, if their crazy colors are actually fluorescent, that would be cool under like a black light. I don't know. Anyway, I'm returning it. I'm gonna I'm gonna return it. So if you want one, if you want that one, keep your eye on Guitar Center Use because they usually put it back for what it's sold for. And ba -da -ba -ba -ba, it was I think I was off by ten bucks last time. Yeah, it was four seventy nine, not four seventy. 479. It'll go back up. It's in great condition. <laughs> See, now you know, though. Now you can buy it knowing what it is. So, there's that. Anyway, just a little follow up on the Jackson Soloist SL3X. 
And uh, sure, I'll find another one someday, but not this one and not today. As always, thanks so much for hanging out. Rock on.